today. Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. Freaking right, boys. Today, I've got something to show you I do, hey? I come across this unit here, and the price was so good, I couldn't turn her down. I had someone looking for me. In my last video there, I said I had someone looking for a sewing machine for me, if you remember, and he found me one, and I felt bad, so I still picked it up, I did, as a spare. But, I might sell it, I might not, but I opened it up, and I looked at it, and I couldn't believe how clean this thing was, boys, girls, peoples. So, I think I'm gonna friggin' hold on to her for a bit, in case the old jalopy here quits, or acts up, then I have a spare. I gotta show you this, it's a 1975 Sears Kenmore machine. Quite a few still out there there is, so they must work pretty damn decent, eh? But I'm just turning into Mary Poppins. Here I am, boys. Let me get this thing opened up, and I'll show you it, and you can tell me what you really think. I was gonna look up the full specs for you, but the old computer's updating there, so I can't look up the full specs, but let's get her opened up here, and I'll show you what's really going on, boys. But the case looks kind of old and crappy. It's got some scratches and stuff on it, and this, that, the other thing. But wait until you see what's under the box. Are you friggin' ready? Friggin' right here. Look at the shape of that thing, boys. I think she spent most of her life in that case. Look at even like, oh, jeepers, boys. Like, look. It even has nice little red doodads. Comes with a spare book bobbin. Look at it. Like even the foot pedal, boys. Look at the foot pedal. Looks like some of your armor all that. Maybe that's all it is, but look. No wear and tear on the foot pedal. She looks mint. The plug looks like it's hardly been plugged in. Look at the plug. It looks brand new, boys. If you look inside is where it's really cool. Friggin' right it is. I never ever thought I had such a type for a friggin' sewing machine, boys. But look at it. Here's the patterns it makes. I don't know if you can see in the video, it's pretty friggin' hard because of the, you know, it's white on white. Sorry about that, but that was in the machine like this. So, Frig. There it is. Decent. And I'll show you it run. Why wouldn't I, eh? Friggin' right I'm gonna show you it run. But let me get you off the tripod here, and I'll bring you in, and I'll show you something really cool. So, if you look in here, I got the mic facing me, because... Fucking mic is just cocked over. Look in here. Look at how clean this machine is. Can you friggin' see in there? It's absolutely friggin' beautiful, eh? Let me get a little light action on it for you. Remember boys, when I'm showing these videos like this, don't get too excited, eh? I know it's hard to resist. Let me get the right angle to dangle. Right there. Look at inside. Look at it. Oh, frig. And then underneath, let me take the thread off here because I know I'm gonna cock you over if I don't. And I gotta set you down just for a sec. Hold on a minute. Look underneath this machine. Like look, look at the belt even. Look at that belt, boys. It looks brand friggin' new. Holy. But anyways, it's got nice accessibility to everything. The bobbin sits on a friggin' straight up and down like that piece of crap camera over there. But uh, this one's a little bit more uh, old school and metal and just decent. But yeah, look at that. Yep, she's beautiful. And I'm pretty sure it's been all lubricated. Friggin' right it's been lubricated, boys. So anyways, let's flip this thing back up and uh, we'll give her a run session for you. Don't forget to leave your likes and comments below about this machine. Tell me if you got one yourself because they seem to be pretty popular still, they do. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button on Sewing with Bilson. Hey, I got so many freaking hobbies, it's ridiculous it is. It's not really a hobby though, it's just kinda neat, hey? Kinda neat. Couldn't resist the price. Frig no, who would? Not me. Not me, boys! I just gotta fix my string of ruski here. Bear with me, boys. Ah, uh, yeah. So if anybody wants to buy this machine, she's a hundred bucks. Cause that's how much it's worth to me. My computer's still restarting friggin' stupid updates. All right, boys, so here we go. We're gonna turn it on, which is light. She's on B, which is whatever that means. Like I said, my computer is still updating, so I don't know what the hell is going on over there, but we're not gonna worry about it. She's on about three, three and a notch there on the old stitch tension. She's on uh, wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle. Let's just friggin' get some stitching in here and see what it does, boys. That's the best way. We'll start off and put some white stitches of this stuff. We'll stitch some of this stuff, we will. So we'll slap that down, and I gotta find, I don't know how fast the throttle is on this guy, so we gotta really watch it. Oh, Jesus, boys. Look at the stitch of that. So that's obviously fast. So we wanna slow her down a little bit. Let's go to a, an eight. What does an eight do? 
Let's just go right to the extreme. Hardly moves. Okay, so this is your speed controller. So we'll go to a 12. Very nice, hey? Very nice. And then we'll go to a Ziggly line. Gotta make sure the needle's out of the hole before you freaking go switching knobs like I just did. Okay, that doesn't do anything. That doesn't do much. Oh, that's over on the other side, boys. Ah, oh, where do you want the needle, boys? That's what that is. Friggin' right it is. Ah, oh, wiggle wiggle. Ah! There's your zigzag, boys. We got number five. We got number four. We got number three. We got number two. We got number zero. We got one. And we got z this. Oh, this machine's fast. This is the horsepower. Have an eye, Captain. How's the reverse work? Ah, oh, yeah, it does. Boys, this machine is killer. Let's get this out of here and we'll have a look see and see what's going on. So there you go. There's the stitches, boys. We got long stitch and then it goes into zigzag, eh? Zigzaggy, big zigzaggy. Smaller, 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 smaller. Smaller and then back into small. So that works freaking noise. So let's stick it back in. I wanna try a different setting. Let's try this setting with a uh, number four. So we're gonna go to that with a number four. Oh, is that ever neat? It's like a heartbeat. <laughs> How's that for a fancy stitch, boys? Check that out. That's freaking awesome. So now we're gonna try zigzag with a number two. Look at this. Oh, boys. That's not sped up, man. That's the fastest thing move. Wow. I'm impressed. That is one nice machine right there. Friggin' right is. And look at that. Look at this sew in the, the angle of the dangles. Look at how much sew I just put into that, boys. Hey, look at it. Decent. Hey, all right, that's decent. No word of a lie, boys. She works absolutely beautiful, she does. Like I said, leave your comments down below. Let me know. I don't know what that does. We never tried that button. Oh, it's just the height of the grabbage. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Tell me what you think of the old sewing machine, Ruski. Freaking right, you better. There's a nice little spare, boys, made in Japan. Frick sakes, must be Kemore. Eh? This is made when sewing machines were sewing machines, it was. She's golden. Where's normal stitch? Normal stitch is. There we go. That well, should be normal stitch. Friggin' right, it should. But hopefully, everybody's having a good day like I am. Not doing anything I ain't doing, except for playing with a fully steel Kenmore machine, boys. Friggin' right, I am. Have a good night, and you know what to do for now. Make my beat, make my beat, hit the ground.